Hi, what's just supposed to be? This is White Raven over here. Today is Wednesday, so happy Magic Wednesday to all of you guys. I am so super excited. I already told you guys I am going a couple of days. I'm going to be going to New Orleans and I'm extremely, extremely happy. Or to New Orleans? New Orleans? I don't know. I know there is this way of pronouncing the name of New Orleans uh, so I'm just excited I'm just excited that I'm going to New Orleans or New Orleans or New Orleans I don't know however it is but 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 um, I want to share with you guys a really um, important oil that I think you should have is easy to make it is extremely powerful because we're going to be dealing with an Orisha uh, a deity that is very very powerful so needless to say i want you to please do this with a lot of respect and i'm going to talk to you a little bit about this deity um by all means you don't necessarily need to follow this deity if you're going to make this oil but at least i want you to have a little bit of a background of who this deity is he came from west africa he name is, um, there's different names that we know him by. I want to share with you some of them. Um, I have some information from this Orisha from uh, Jirika Ilis uh, Encyclopedia of Spirits. And <clears throat> from so many other places, I just want to make sure that when you study this deity, you know where to get information because there's a lot out there, okay? Now, I'm really going to touch the tip of the iceberg with the information that I'm going to give you today. But nonetheless, it's a very important information. So this deity, as I said, uh, you probably already have heard of him before. He is known as Papa Legba. This is in Haitian voodoo and in Haiti. He is also known as Elegua. This is how I know him and this is how I use him. Uh, that's how we know him in Puerto Rico and uh, Cuba. Whoever practices Santeria and uh, some other religions uh, know him as Elegua. And in Brazil, they call him Exu, okay? Uh, so those are some of the names, just some of the names that this deity has. It is said that he has over 120 manifestations, which means exactly that. He can manifest in 120 forms and more, okay? Or he can operate and he can perform over 120 ways. Um, he is literally the father of of the roads he open and closes roads spiritually and physically speaking okay nothing moves without him saying so and that also means turning bad luck into good turning good luck into bad this is a very very powerful with a very strong sense of humor dark and trickster sense of humor, deity. All right, uh, he's a doer. You want something, you request it from him. Now, if you're gonna use him, he's very particular about what he needs. He's not gonna do you a favor if you don't do him a favor back. So, if this is, um, this is concrete, and, and he has the quarry shells, you're so, you can make your own or you can buy one. It's better if you make your own with concrete and the shells. Uh, you need an elder to prepare him for you. Mine is not prepared yet, okay? But uh, my intentions is to have her prepare very, very, very soon. I'm going to get together with some of my Santeria uh, friends and I'm going to request for some help in order to prepare this deity because... I really want to use him every day. Now, he does request offerings. The offerings for this deity are going to be done every Monday or the end. Every Monday and the third day of every month. Okay? Every Monday is Elegua's day, Papa Legba's day, or and every third of every month. Okay? The third day of every month. So Mondays and the third. All right. Um, usually I used to have one prepare in Puerto Rico when I used to live in Puerto Rico. Um, I give him sweets. I give him 
rum. I give him a smoke of um, cigar on Mondays. I mean, I don't smoke, uh, but I will do that for him on Mondays. I will get really good cigars and I light a cigar and smoke and puff on him Mondays. Okay, rum, you can either put a little bit of rum in front of him. I put the rum in my mouth and I spray it. All right, and also sweets. I don't give him sweets all the time, um, but when you feel like it, you can give him sweets. Uh, he is also depicted as a child. I may put some pictures in this video. He's also depicted as a child. Uh, he's also depicted as a old man in crutches, tired because he's been walking all over the world. All right. Uh, if you want to request anything to him, you need bones and you need to go to a crossroad and you can leave bones cross in a crossroad. You request him, you call upon him and you ask for his favor. But if you ask for his favor, you better be ready for change because he will do it. And on the same token, you better be ready to honor him. You do not request anything from him. Remember, he opens and he closes the doors. So if this is a deity that you're gonna work with, make sure that you actually indeed honor it, okay? I think he's a great ally. Uh, I do not practice Santeria, but I will love to really dedicate every Monday and every third of every month to this deity uh, from now on. So that's something that is going to be in my to-do list. So. Speaking of him, now we're going to be sharing with you a very simple oil that is named Elegua oil, Papalegba oil. And this is just one recipe of probably hundreds that are out there, okay? I am going to start with some coconut oil. And uh, the spell, the recipe does not call for you to mix it with coconut oil, but I want to make a lot. And coconut oil is a good oil for ca to carry oils, uh, essential oils. So you can use it for that purpose. Um, we're going to be adding some cinnamon oil. We are going to be adding some sandalwood vetiver i need to buy more vetiver um i really hope my daughter forgives me uh because i'm seeing her honeysuckle this one doesn't have any labeling this is from the uh, renaissance fest and uh it is honeysuckle i mean if you know how honeysuckle smells this is like completely and absolutely unmistakable <laughs> you can't mistake this oil and last but not least this is a coconut scent all right you cannot get like an oil that smells exactly like coconut then what i did um i went to like a craft store like hobby lobby usually the store that i go to i really like their oils and this is a uh, coconut scent coconut aroma for candles so you also have coconut aroma for soaps uh, so you choose whichever you want. Since this is going to be mixed with oil, I figured that this was better. I don't think there's a really much of a difference, but I'm going to put that in there. Um, if you have pets, you need a dropper. If you, I mean, I'm going to use a dropper. If you have pets, I want to share with you something. Uh, this is something that sometimes when my floaty is sick, because she's old and she gets a lot of medications, uh, I save this ones. I wash them and I save them because they're awesome for when you're doing these concoctions that we do as switches, okay? So very easy. I am going to... I'm not going to play with this oil. I really, really, really want this oil. So I fill this up, the entire thing, with the... coconut aroma oil and you know what I actually think I'm gonna put a lot more because I really want this to smell like coconut and I honestly bought this just for this so if I need more I know where to get that 
I really want this smelling like coconut. I don't know why something tells me to make it. Like I'm hearing it right now telling me, please make it really, really aromatic like coconut. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, it smells really good. Vetiver. I'm just going to start dropping some vetiver, vetiver in there. Um, so yeah, remember guys that whenever you work with a deity, whatever they give you, you need to give back. I, 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 I'm eyeballing this. Uh, if there's something you will learn about Puerto Rican people, we do not measure absolutely anything. So I am eyeballing it. Let me see if I can get the cinnamon to uh, come out just as easy. And then I told you guys to be very careful with cinnamon oil. Cinnamon oil, if it's extremely pure and good brand like this one, if you have sensitive skin, it could actually burn your skin or, you know, feel really, really hot, almost like chili peppers. So be very careful. But I think that's good enough. My, I don't know if you guys did my, um, lodestone spell for money but my lodestone is loving the cinnamon oil okay i think i'm going to put all this sandalwood in here this sandalwood this brand gives me a really hard time uh to pour so let's open this guys if you have any uh kind of like um suggestions for me so when i'm in new orleans or new orleans the Orleans, the or however I said, just you know, send it to me. I'm gonna put all the sandalwood in here because I don't have that much and I really need to finish this oil. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy more. I'm gonna keep this bottle because you also, uh, they're really good. And then I really, really hope my daughter does not get mad at me over using her honeysuckle. Uh, I will get her more. This one we got at the Renaissance Fest. Actually, you know what? She stole all of my lavender. There we go. So. Beautiful. Here you go, guys. And this is my Elegua oil. I feel like I'm going to design something on the bottle. I put a key in there. I'm going to fix this bottle. I really want to honor this DT. Um, colors of this DT are red and black. Those are his colors. Okay. Uh, he's a very, very powerful DT Orisha. So if you're going to use him, please honor him. So. What are you going to do with this oil? You're going to anoint anything that has to do with changes, with moving, with opening, with good luck, with transformation. If somebody's sick and you want to heal, this is what you use. Anything that has to do with change, with opening the ways. Like imagine everything that that entitles, opening the ways of something, all right, for health, for good luck, for money, for prosperity, for success. They or are you need those doors open. He opens the door. He has the door, the keys for everything. He has the skeleton key for life. In that sense, he also make me think a lot about Ekate. Because Ekate is almost the same way. She is the goddess of the crossroads. She opened the road. So I think that whenever I also use anything that involves Ekate, I may also be using this oil. Um, it's entirely up to you if you want to mix these two deities. I think they relate a lot because they have to do with crossroads and opening ways. Uh, one is a male, one is a female. They're both extremely um, strong. I don't know. Tell me what you think, okay? A lot of you guys know a lot more in certain things, and I really appreciate your input, all right? 
um, please make sure that you subscribe to this channel. I'm getting a lot of emails that uh, you guys are requesting me uh, spells and you guys are asking me questions and you guys are not subscribed to my channel. How are you going to know? I'm trying to teach you little by little. I'm trying to empower you. And if you get to watch my videos, you're going to learn how to do magic on your own. That's the whole purpose of my channel for you to learn how to do magic on your own and then we share all the awesome things that happen to you like I get so excited every time you guys tell me hey wait Raven I use a hot food powder on my neighbor and he's gone and and stuff like that that makes me so excited all right please subscribe to my channel hit the bell so you can get the videos every time I post them all right spread the love and go visit me in layer of the witch at yahoo.com layer of the witch at yahoo.com and uh I'm so excited to go to New Orleans, so, or New Orleans, New Orleans, I don't know. I'm going to be posting pictures as I'm over there. I'm going to be visiting the cemetery, you guys know this, a lot of the shop. Hopefully I get to see some friends and I'm dying to go to the swamps. Until next time, which is, oh, you like my shirt? Stay wicked, bye.